Good morning, and it's Monday, April 6th. We're looking at the S&P 500 here. And what we have overnight, let's just start with that. Just a five minute chart here with prediction points on it. Also key turns are loaded on here. So we opened up and remember on Friday we had that quite a push up here. So we opened up and it's just been strong ever since we opened up here. So they probed up above this 84, 75 area by a couple of points, came back down. They held right here to the tick and then we've pulled back a little bit. So a couple of things worth noting here. Since we, we've been back here and tested and then we haven't really, we've, we've been back and tested this area. We haven't been back here. And then we didn't ever come back to either of these. And we also didn't come back here. So a couple of scenarios here. If they don't hold this area, and this area is going to be the 62 area down to probably 57 area about right there yeah 57 half something like that so right in that area if the buyers don't step in there then we're gonna see some bigger pullback and probably down to this area So one of those two, and then if they can't hold that, then back to this area, maybe even key turns. And if they can't hold key turns, then we've got uh, another ways down. You know, we'll really start selling that 2430 will come back into play, that type of thing. So there's some opportunity here. If they can't hold this area, we can try and get it short. Above here, we're gonna be playing it for higher, but but if they hold this area right here, then we'll we'll look for a bigger push up. If they can't hold that area, then we'll look for a push lower. Of course, we'll want to pay attention to what they do here. They could just come back to this area. They could really just come back to any of these right here. These are very close together, so um, you know you just basically you don't want to try and use those separately, not right out of the gate anyway. So those are a couple points apart. So here, uh, right here, we'll watch what they do there. But very likely, if they can't hold this area, they'll want to come back into here, test this. If they can't hold that, then they'll want to come back down into here. So we can just play those kind of one at a time and see how that works out. Below here, we can play it down for here. If they can hold here, we'll play it for another push up. If they can't hold here, we'll play it for a push down. And if they can hold here, we'll play that for a push up. So let's talk, uh, and then below here, 2430 is back in play, that type of thing. So now let's talk for just a minute about oh, targets here on this move up. Kind of a weird market, so let's talk a little bit about that. So remember we said 2660 weeks ago. And if they keep pushing up here, that's still the target. We never got there the first time. So we've said, what well, what it looked like was going to happen was we were going to get 2660 and then we were going to maybe 2700 area and then we were going to get a push down to 2400. And we haven't seen either of those numbers yet. So at some point here, maybe this week, it'll pick up a little bit. But at some point here, we're going to see one of those numbers. Those are the targets that they're going for. So let's see what we're looking for. So up above here, got to keep your eye on that 2600 area. You can see how much they use that. I mean, if you just look where my crosshairs are. You can see they came down over here, 
big push through it, came back up to it right there, came up again right here, came right there, all of this right there, tested it all right through there, finally here again. So watch this 2600 area, and then above here, any of these would really be, well, let's say this, this is back on the, this would be on the table. This is really the target, if we can get a, another push up. Of course we have 2600, so watch that. But really we want to get back up to here, and then above here, it's quite possible, quite possible. Just trying to see how this played out over here already. Yeah, so they've really kind of been back up here already, so more ideally is here, pull back a little bit from here, maybe pull back to 2600 area from here, make another push up, and let's talk about up above here, 2690, 2700 area. I'm telling you right now, if they come back up here today, which I don't know if they will, we'll have to watch this 2660 area up here. So we'll see how that all plays out. Of course, I'll be in the live trade room. I'll be as active as possible in there. We'll be talking about things as they're happening in real time. And uh, let's see. But yeah, and on the downside, let's just see how this starts to play out. If they can't hold here, again, 2430 starts to come uh, back into the picture here. Over in this area, again. Maybe even 2400, maybe lower. So we'll see how that all plays out. That's a pretty long ways away. That's 60 something points away. So may not come into play, but do want you to have that. So kind of really CP to CP here to start off with and then we'll see from there how that goes of course want to watch this area but so there you have it and I will see you in the live trade signals